In Christology, the Logos is a name or title of Jesus Christ, derived from the prologue to the Gospel of John, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, as well as in the book of Revelation, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. These passages have been important for establishing the doctrine of the divinity of Jesus since the earliest days of Christianity. According to Irenaeus of Lyon a student of John's disciple Polycarp, John the Apostle wrote these words specifically to refute the teachings of Serenthus, who both resided and taught at Ephesus, the city John settled in following his return from exile on Patmos. Serenthus believed that the world was created by a power far removed from and ignorant of the Father, and that the Christ descended upon the man Jesus at his baptism, and that strict adherence to the Mosaic law was absolutely necessary for salvation. Therefore, Irenaeus writes, the disciple of the Lord therefore desiring to put an end to all such doctrines, and to establish the rule of truth in the church, that there is one Almighty God, who made all things by his word, both visible and invisible, showing at the same time, that by the word, through whom God made the creation, he also bestowed salvation on the men included in the creation, thus commenced his teaching in the gospel, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was nothing made. What was made was life in him, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not.